How the it can I teeth? Cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Pretty face, eyelash, body bad. Oh gosh, hot girl, stay green when you take picture. Be the See ya hair, so fresh, brand new. You be the best. Party gang, you and your guests. Big waist, big chest. Shatter them, pop, 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 pop. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Moaba. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Welcome back. As you can see, I already have my makeup done. I did the makeup according to the Zambian flag, which has orange, green, red, and black. The red symbolizes the blood that was shed during um, the fight for freedom. The black symbolizes the people of Zambia, the black people of Zambia. And then the green symbolizes the natural resources that the country has. The orange symbolizes the minerals that the country also has. I thought it was a good idea to commemorate Independence Day with me doing my makeup this way. So enjoy the video. Okay, so first things first, let's prepare the Zambian meal. So what's on the menu? We have some beans. We have some chopped spinach. And then we have some tiny dry fish, which is also known as kapenta. Four tomatoes, two onions, and the spices that I'm going to be using, as well as the maize meal and the cooking oil at the back. So everything was prepped. I chopped up the onions, diced the tomatoes as well, and we're ready to cook. First things first, you need to soak up your beans the previous night. This is a method that's used if you want to cook your beans quicker the following day. So that's what I did. And then in this video, you can see that I'm just rinsing the beans after it's been soaked. Just so that we can have clean beans, you know, you can't cook dirty food. We don't do that here. After that, you just put your beans in the pot, add some water, and then you also have to add some oil. And then just let it boil until the beans is soft. The next thing that you're going to do is make gravy for the beans so put some oil onto the pan wait for it to be hot enough and then you can bring your onions onto the pan and then just start to fry them in case there's too much oil you can easily take it out like I did in the video next thing you add your tomatoes and I added some salt and the spices that I'm going to be using sometimes you can even make it plain it just depends on what you're feeling like and on this day I felt like eating curry beans cover it up for a few minutes and then come back and mix it all up After the gravy is done, you just bring back the beans and then put the gravy in the pot and then just let everything boil together. So what you're going to do is put the kapenta onto a hot pan and then just mix it all up for some time. This is done so that the scales on the kapenta can come off easily when you wash it. Thoroughly wash it until you feel like it's clean enough and then it's ready to be cooked. Now you can add the kapenta to the pan and then continue frying it until you feel like it's crunchy enough. Add some salt to it and continue frying. Add your onions to the pan and then continue frying until the onions are ready. Next step, add your diced tomatoes to it and add some salt as well. Cover it up for a few minutes and then come back to mix everything together. Mm -hmm. 
and that's how you make your capenta. So next step is the vegetables. Thoroughly wash your vegetables. This is a key step. Every time that you cook, you need to wash your stuff. Next thing, add the cooking oil to the pan and then you add the onions and then fry, fry, fry. And then after that, you can add the tomatoes as well. Don't forget to add that salt and then cover it all up. Wait a few more minutes and then come back so you can add your vegetables to it. If you struggle with keeping your veggies green, this is what you should do. Add hot boiling water to your veggies and then just keep them there for a few seconds. Drain all the water out and you're good to go. After that, just add the veggies to the pot of the gravy that you made and mix everything up and your veggies are done. To prepare your pap on shima, you're going to need your maize meal and hot water and of course a pot. Add your maize meal and then add some cold water and mix it all up and then thereafter you can add your hot water. Mix it all up until it starts to boil and then you can cover it up for a few minutes and then come back. After some time it's ready so now we're going to add the maize meal and mix it up. I'm not so sure what you call this process in English, but in Bemba we say Ukunaya. So apa de I'll keep on adding the maize meal until it's the consistency that I prefer. Cover it up and let it simmer for a few more minutes and it's ready. This is so good. This is so, so good. Ah. Food tastes so much better when you use your hands. Mm -mm. Mm. Whoever discovered how to make Nishima, Wadi, <laughs> they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. Now that the food is out of the way, I'm just going to go off camera, do the base of my makeup, and then we can start to recreate the look that I have for you guys today. As you can see, I did my makeup off camera, so I have my base and my face is currently baking with some banana powder. So now I'm just going to start with the eyeshadow. So the colors that I'm going to go for today are the colors of the Zambian flag because we're doing this for Independence Day. And yeah, the colors that I'm going to use are red, orange green black yeah so those are the main colors i hope i mentioned all of them those are the main colors of the flag so stay tuned continue watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment down below share this channel share this video and most importantly don't forget to subscribe i hope you enjoy this so i'm going to start with um the orange so the orange i've decided that i'm going to put it in the inner corners of my eye so i'm going to go with this orange and I'm going to also mix it with the other orange in this palette. Let's get into it. On the outer part of my eyes, sorry guys, ignore the noise in the background. There's birds all over this place. So the green that I'm going to go for, I think I'm going to go for this one over here because I'm looking for something that's going to be shimmery and popping you know so i'm going to go with this green here so i have this green glitter and i think i'm going to add some onto the green eyeshadow just to make it more sparkly but before i do that i think i want to go with um black on the corners of my eyes so let me just use that as 
about to do my eyeliner and then I figured maybe since we're trying something different I'm going to try and use red as an eyeliner so basically all the colors are going to be on my eyes I'm so excited so I don't have red eyeshadow but I do have red lipstick though <laughs> uh, so this is what I'm going to use and then I'm going to use this tiny um, eye gel applicator to to do the things so I'm going to do it right now mm, hope it works you can barely see it but it's there so just the fact that it's there makes me happy even though it's not very visible I wish I thought about it sooner because then I would have just anyways I'll still do it It's a thought that counts, right? Yeah, it's okay. Mm, now I'm going to do my mascara. We're sticking to our lashes today, our natural lashes, baby. So that's what we're doing. I don't know why I speak like that. <laughs> ah, guys. You know, every time I do my makeup, I wish you guys could see it in natural light. Like, I mean, face to face. Because, to be honest, it looks 100% like so much better in person. It looks so much better in person and I wish people could see it the way I'm seeing it. I'm going to start a GoFundMe page so you guys can get me a camera. What do you think? Good idea, right? lifting my head too much <laughs> oh my goodness I wish I had a lash curler because my lashes misbehave sometimes now I'm just going to brush the powder off my face Guys, I need to get rid of my stash. <laughs> Can you see it? <laughs> I need to get rid of it because why? Why is it doing me like this? Now I'm going to put some bronzer on my cheekbones. So I'm going to use golden bronze, which is oh, golden bronze, which is this one. I never really put this in excess because I'm always so afraid but I don't understand why I'm afraid because makeup is something you can take off so if it doesn't work out you just wipe it off that is so extra oh shine bright like a diamond Ooh, honey I like how intense my bronzer is because it's like it adds, adds more I don't know <sighs> sass look at that extra maybe a little too much but it's okay it's okay so for the lip I decided I'm going to go for a red so I just blended red and black eyeliner together in order to form this lip so I like it and this is the final look if you didn't know I'm Zambian I come from Lusaka I was born and raised in Lusaka but I'm currently studying in Port Elizabeth South Africa if you're Zambian drop a comment down below I just want to see you so I can see which Zambian people are supporting my channel so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up Leave a comment down below, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and come back next week when I drop another video. As per usual, I'm going to have a mini photo shoot. I'll take as many pictures as I can. And guys, I know I've been slacking. I know I always say you should check my Instagram for the pictures, but you know when you have so many pictures to pick from, you just get stuck. So that's what's been going on with me. So I'm going to post my goddess, um, earth goddess photo shoot thing pictures on my instagram so make sure you check it at mcm underscore muya 
and yeah I'm just going to dance to a few Zambian songs so bye and happy Independence Day to my fellow Zambians <laughs>